I will stay with legal matters and Professor Raymond Atukube's take on some of these issues. The University of Ghana lecturer has waded into the controversy about the mode of admission into the Ghana School of Law. Professor Raymond Atukube is of the opinion if the constitution was to be applied fully, all the members of the General Legal Council would have been in jail for failing to ensure the passage of a legislative instrument regulating entry into the Ghana School of Law. The Supreme Court sometime last year gave the General Legal Council six months to pass an LI if it wants to legalize its interview and entrance exams as the mode of admission to the Ghana School of Law. But that has not happened as some processes ought to be followed first in Parliament. Roll forward to today, Asari and Attorney General. If we are going strictly by the Constitution, by now the entire General Legal Council should be in Insawam because the Supreme Court decision on it has not been complied with by the General Legal Council. And so under Article 2, 4 and 5, 3, 4 and 5, where you do not obey the decision of the Supreme Court, it's characterized as a high crime, isn't it? And the penalty is 10 years in jail without the option of a fine. And after that, for 10 years, you don't have the chance to be a public officer. Because to my, the best of my knowledge, the LI has not yet been passed in order to manage the entry into a law school. Now, it is true that the judgment was pragmatic, isn't it? Because many things would have happened if the Supreme Court hadn't gone that way. But we also have to see it in terms of the Supreme Court going soft on its own. So the point I'm trying to make is that we have reviews and appeals and removal of justices as ways of moderating judicial excesses. But we also need public scrutiny. The judiciary is not comfortable with public scrutiny. But if our democracy is to sustain, we must be brave enough to scrutinize the judiciary.